Hey folks, it's Rith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Ravenport for our second look at the garage. Um, although I'm not actually anywhere near the garage, and that's not currently what I'm looking at. I was trying to see if I could go over and have a look at that uh, structure over there. But I get the feeling that the map is not going to let me go quite that far. I think I go up against an invisible wall. Yeah, right before I get to it. That's a bit of a shame. What have we got? <gasps> We've got this one here. Jet Set Farming 2148. I bet that this does something at night. I bet this does something at night. We've got something here. Can I play the game? I can throw that in there. Hmm. Right. Anyway, we've got that bit there. So, I've got a vehicle here, and then we've got all of the other vehicles that are kind of scattered around at the moment. Um, yeah, that, 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 that all went horribly wrong, didn't it? So, there were some other things that I wanted to find out. I do want to have a look at other machinery, and I do want to do sensible and, um, you know, uh, normal things that normal people do. Um, but at the same time, I also want to do all sorts of silly things. Because silly things is fun. We've got to admit it. Silly things are fun. So at the moment, we have bought some less. We go to lands down there. We've, we own all of that. This is all ours. So we can... Uh, uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, actually, there's no trees up on that bit. So, I mean, I could, I could buy some more. I can buy this. Oh, wait a minute. No, uh, biomass heating station. I was looking at this in my other episode today was what do we do i think you literally just drive up to the biomass plant and then you can sell the stuff there and you've got the barn up there as well so i i'm pretty sure we're not going to need to worry about that i was just a little bit curious um it's some animals that i want to look at as well i want to see what we do with the horses uh because i want to see how we name the horses that's the, the main thing is i want to be able to name a horse so if i buy this one up here so you go onto that one there wait a minute how do we there value there I'm, I'm missing these bits down the bottom look so we go space boy just click on it uh buy land right there so we've got number 13 like that and then we can go into the shop and we can have a look in here we're still looking at stuff in the shop so this is all okay this is perfectly acceptable so we've got a decoration here we can have our sandcastle it's got to be said i love the sandcastle i seen the sandcastle i actually commented on the sandcastle in one of the videos that they shared about the upcoming maps and stuff, because the sandcastle was down next to the river, and I made a comment and I said, I really, uh, out of all of it, I thought that sandcastle looked really cool. I didn't realise that it was actually a placeable that we could put down. Okay, so I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased that we can put down our sandcastle. Now, the other thing about this, right? Okay, that's um, looking like it's a little bit steep. It doesn't like it. But now, if I do control and... Ooh, no, I'm, I'm going too far away. Okay, we'll, we'll bring that one... There we go, right. Control Q lowers it down into the ground. Control E raises it up. So if I put that one down as low as it will go like that, and then I place it, it forces the ground around it down lower. And then if I put this one over here and I go Control E, it won't let me do it. It won't go up that high. It's too high. Uh, it does go to there, see? And then you've got some terrain deformation right there. But now it's not liking the stuff in between. So we go back, we come out of there, and then we go to the garage. And it doesn't look like you've got like groups of stuff in your garage. But there, I want to sell that one. Because I've got multiples, I can choose which one I want to sell. Yes. Okay. So if I've only got one, it will only sell one. There we go. And I'll sell that one as well. Okay. So I've sold all of them. So now I can go back into there, into there, and back into here. But now you can see that because we've removed it, right, I've got that one. I can place that one there. It's now moving out, and it's allowing me to place it in other places. Right, the, the terrain deformation does... It's, it's not like completely infallible you you're not going to be able to completely redefine the terrain of the entire map right it's it's not going to let you do that it's not going to be an option um could lower that down a bit right i can place this one 
up to about there and I've been able to like move a little bit more so I'm gonna come out of there and, oh I'm way over here now um let me run down over there a second okay I'm lost oh it's the other side of this greenhouse down over here I was told there's our dog he's looking good uh there are no like um nuggets or coins or horseshoes or anything in a map this time around. It's not a thing that we're going to be having this time. So, there is our new sandcastles, the decorations. They're solid items. And you can see where it's deformed the terrain. It's moved the terrain around by quite a bit. And so, it, it does do it a fair bit. But I can't, like, bring the sandcastle out here and have it deform the terrain all the way down to the bottom down there. And expect that to work as well. That's not something that it's going to have us be able to do. Um, but... That being said, there's one other thing I want to try a minute. Uh, I want to go to the garage, and I want to sell these two. So I'll sell you, and okay, and I'll sell you over there. Yes, okay. So then we come out of there, and we go back in here, and we buy that one again. Now, if I bring this one over here, look, and I bring it to there, like that, and press control, and I raise it up. That's up as high as it will go up there. It's not going to let me take it out any further that way. Because it's going to raise that terrain level up too high over there. What I'm hoping is it will actually physically raise the terrain here a little bit. So let's zoom in a bit and just see what it's going to do. Right, it's raised it a little tiny bit over what it was just now. Not a massive amount, but it did do it. That's all I wanted to see. Was whether, right, so yeah, it's, it, it is raising it. So I'm guessing there would be ways to use this as like a large leveling tool. But uh, obviously you'd want to use bigger things if you can. Now we own that up there. So the other thing that I wanted to look at today was... I did say yesterday that we'd look at some other machines. But I actually quite like the idea of looking through some of these. And sort of exploring some of what we can do with this. We've got a large horse paddock here. Now I couldn't do anything with that. Um, previously, and... Ah. Now, I thought that I wasn't able to place this down in yesterday... In today's... Sorry, this is today's episode. Um, the one that you've seen earlier on. I thought I wasn't able to place it down in the field because it was in a field. This is not the case. This is not the case at all. It's to do with something else. Maybe it's to do with... Probably because it was on a slope. Because if I... Hang on. Uh, let's move. Now, we own this down here. Right. You can see the blue there where it sort of it can't be placed there. Deformation failed because of just how much I've got to deform in order to get it onto that. Right. Whereas if I bring it up here and then I raise it up higher, it's more likely to succeed. Still, it's, it's down this side that I reckon is causing it to fail. Because if I bring it back that way a bit, that is actually succeeding. Down here, it's succeeding. So it's it's trying to raise up too much in order to be able to get that to work right there. I can place it there, like that. And we'll come out of there a minute. And then we'll go here, we'll press escape. And then we can go up there, and now you can go and visit. We can visit straight to the horse paddock. So you can see we've got quite a lot of deformation of terrain here. The actual crop has been left on the corners here, whereas these other bits have now been turned to grass. Something we need to find out. Something actually that we, I feel would be quite important to find out is... Can we turn these bits here that we've turned into grass... Can we turn those back into... Um, field? Can we go and plough those bits up, turn them back into field? Or is that like out of the question? I reckon we probably could... Anyway, that doesn't matter right now because the next thing that I want to do is I want to go in here and it's not there. It's this one here that we want. Do we have a gate? We don't have a gate. Where's oh, the gate is over there. The gate's over that side. So it's not that one. Pressing R. Right, I got... Oh, hang on. What was that? Controls. Ah, the, the, the gate. There. See, I can open, open the gate right there and close the gate as well 
And then over this side, we've got another... Open the animal dialogue. Right, this is the one for the animal dialogue. That's not a gate that can be opened there, but I'm guessing... Yep, that one is. Right. So there's the opening of that one. And then you've got the various different horses. These are the same as they are in easy mode. Still 5,000 each. So which, which what color? I want a black horse. I, I want to go for a black one first. Um, black Beauty is the only book about a horse that I've ever actually enjoyed. Now, buying animals, you click on that side over there. You press enter. It moves it over onto the other side. So I'm going to get, uh, I'll put that one over there and uh, move that one back. Uh, gray, a Pinto, a Palomino, a Chestnut, a Bay. We've got black, seal brown, and a dun. There we go. Space to confirm. So we've now got a load of animals in here. See, we've got all of these different animals in here. 40,000 on livestock. So you go here, you go and click on this one. We've got the large horse paddock up here. We've got Virgo, Romeo, Fabio, Ivory, Gypsy, Rascal, Chester, and Epona. Rename the horses. I can rename them. Okay. I can now start selecting names from the great book of names and I can start putting people into the game. And I'm thinking one, I'm, I'm literally at the moment, I'm wondering whether I should do that in this episode or if I should leave it for the next episode. So if I open, right, the, uh, we can ride Epona. And same controls, I'm guessing. Right. No. Controls are slightly different to what I'm used to. So, W again for trot. W again for canter. And W again for gallop. Jump down over there. Right, it's struggling with this a little bit. I don't know why it's struggling with this a little bit. I do have all of my settings up about as high as they could possibly go. You can see the... Look at that. Look at the crop flattening under us as we go. That is absolutely brilliant. See the way they're squashing down as we go along? I love that. I genuinely do. The grass does it as well. That is so cool. And in order to increase the horse's value, you've got to physically take them out and you've got to exercise them. If you want to raise horses and you want to be able to make money raising horses, I don't know if the horses breed. I don't know about that at the moment. So let's just stop you a minute. Oop. Right, we can walk backwards. We have a look in here. So we are currently riding Epona. She's on 24%. What is... Oh, daily ride. Oh, I see. Right. So you've got daily riding conditions, water, straw, food, oats, and hay. Um, so you need good conditions in here. Now you look at Chester. There. 29.15. 29.75. Uh, oh, it's because her condition has dropped a little bit. It's because she's getting tired. Um, a horse's value is determined by its fitness, health, and cleanliness. They should be ridden every day to increase their fitness. Horses require straw for clean bedding and water and food to stay healthy periodically. They need to be brushed and clean. Feed them with a mix. So you've, you've actually you've got to spend quite a bit of time looking after your horses if you want your horses to do well you gotta spend a lot of time working on them now i got currently 70 names in the great book of names i'm not sure that i've got time to be looking after 70 horses brushing you and feeding you and doing everything else that needs to be done to you <laughs> yes right Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, come round, come, come round. Easy, easy does it, easy does it. There we go. And up, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Do you auto jump? You do. You auto jump as well. Bring you on round. <laughs> oh, yes. This is so cool. Right, walk backwards. There you go. And how do I get off? Oh, press E. E to dismount. Horse Epona is back in step. Wait a minute. Right, Black Beauty. Come here. Come here, Black Beauty. Now we ride. Ride! 
Ride like the wind. Ride like you're possessed. There we go. Now, I climb off. She stays. She stays just wandering around. I think she stays still. But she does stay. So you've actually physically got to take her back home. And we're now on a full gallop. Um, obviously, there is another thing that we need to find out. And we're going to do that by coming over this way. Uh, there's two things that we want to find out, actually. First and foremost, we need to find out what happens when we jump off a mountain. <laughs> okay, the horse flies. This is an important thing, the horse flies. We know now that horses fly. This is a, uh, this is a new and a valuable thing that we have now learned about um, horses in general. Horses fly. Uh, that vehicle there... I left that one on the rail. So our next thing that we need to find out. Horses versus trains. Who wins? What happens? He's um, not liking the track because it's making him do some very strange things. We've got to find this train. And then we're going to see who is going to be best. Horse or train. What is going to happen? Is it going to do like it does with the vehicles? Or is it just going to, like, pass through us like we're invisible? I'm hoping that there's no third option. I'm really hoping that there is no third option. But we... we this, it, you're never going to forgive me. If I don't try and find this out, you will never forgive me for this, will you? Right. Slow down. There. Just stay right there. Let's see. With my hot pink shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. That was absolutely fantastic. That was genuinely brilliant. Horse versus train. Nobody wins. That one's that one's just uh that that the, the house wins that one. I think I think we just leave that as the house wins. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. That was absolutely awesome. Okay, we're going to get some more animal pens up here and we just take we'll take a look at the other animals and sort of see what we've got. Um, we want to get Black Beauty back up here first, and then I'll see in our next Garage episode about getting some of the names from the Great Book of Names in here. Into this one in here. Let's just go right there and stop. Climb off. Of course, Virgo is back in stable. So, yeah, you, you, you'll be able to, although it's not really... You're not going to last long in here. You're really not. Um... But yeah, this, this is one place. And also, can we, like, I want to know if we can, like, name cows and things like that. So, we'll go here a minute. Uh, we we'll go to the animal pens. And we've got, what should we go for? Large pig enclosure, large sheep. I want the cow. I want large cow pasture there. That is a big cow pasture. Right, I can put that one fairly close to the horses. Right? Deformation of terrain has failed. So I can lower that. No, I can't. I can lower that one down like that. That does lower down by quite a long way. And that'll allow me to place it there. And then if I raise it up, it will still allow me to place it. But I actually want to lower that one down as low as I possibly can. So I place that one in there. And you will be able to see straight away the difference between like the terrain. So it did interact a bit with the terrain around the edge of the horses. And you can see that most clearly over here. Because this is where the horse's terrain uh, came out to. And it changed it. Because you can see where it lowered the level of the grass. And then over here, it's kind of altered it a little bit. So it's, it's pushed it downwards. So we've, lo we've dropped that back down. This here has just raised the edges ever so slightly. And moved it on round, and then we've got it. It's fairly level on most of it. That's where you pick the milk up. And then this side has dropped the terrain down in order to be able to fit in with the field. But then over this side, it's raised it up. And it seems like it's raised it up a little bit unnecessarily there. Not sure why it's raised it like that. It seems. I think it was trying to find like a happy medium between the two. Because you've got this over here, obviously. This is digging down. Um, and so it's trying to find that happy medium between the two. And this is why you've got this steeper s spike over here. 
So you wouldn't really want to be placing your placeables down into a field that has got stuff planted on it anyway. So that would that would be something you'd be looking to try to avoid. So we've got that over there, and you can sort of see where the, the way that it's um, moved that round. Now we've got the water over here. I love the look of the cow pasture. It does actually look it's, it's like laid out quite nicely. Uh, we've got the animal dialogue right here. Um, can we open doors? We cannot open the door there. We can't open anything over this way. You can jump right in over there. I uh, can't open that door. And uh, no. Right. So we can't open the doors to get in here. So in order to be able to put the straw in, I think you've got to go with the blower. You, well, we might be able to put straw in from the front. We might be able to. Don't know yet. So we go to here. We're going to buy each of the cows. We're going to buy one of each. Actually, let's buy uh, four of each. Five of each. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five of every cow is $100,000. 8,000 movement fee, which gives us a total of 108,000. Now, you wouldn't really normally have Brahmins mixed with the other cows. That would that, that is a little bit unusual. But we do have the mixture of all the cows in here. You can see all of the different cows in here. Now, I don't know if I've actually... I would assume that you can't put all the cows in here. Right, you look at the animal pen there. That can take 200 cows. You're not going to see 200 cows in here. But it does have the models in here for each of these different ones. We do actually physically have to climb over them. I've got three black cows that I can see. I bought five of everything. I have three brown Brahmins. I've got three Frisians that I can see. Uh, so it looks like three is the maximum that you'll be able to see of any animal. The next thing that we want to do, obviously, is we're going to look down here and tag place. But I can't rename the cows. I can't have Daisy and, um, so on. We can only rename horses. I can tag place. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the... There. Right. What's that? What's tag place do? I don't get what tag place has done. What, what have I done here? Uh, right, it's... it's what, what is that? It's flashing. What is this? What have I done with this? This is... Oh. Ah, hang on. Um... Tag place. Right, now I get it. I go there. Tag place. Right. And then it's putting it on the map. Look, I can now see a flashing on the map. I can't physically see it myself at the moment. Yes, I can. You can see the pillar of light over there, that pillar of green. You can you can tag a place that will then show up elsewhere on the map later on. It doesn't look like we currently have the ability to name items or pens or anything like that. Uh, if I go into the garage in here, like that one is the sandcastle. I've got that one. There's nothing in there. And I can go to the animals in here. Large cow pasture. I can tag it so that I can go and see it. Currently, though, the only things that we can name are the horses. The, the cows are just cow black and white. Brahmin white. Uh, the horses, however, the horses, you'd see each individual horse in the horse paddock when you go to them. Which is how you're able to name the horses. That's what's changing on that. That's what's different with that. Uh, like the the vehicles and I mean maybe there'll be place names that we can do stuff with but definitely we can name the horses naming the horses is definitely a thing that we can do because you look here like the, the large chicken coop there I can put 400 chickens in that bad boy and then the large horse paddock over here I can have 16 right this one here I can have eight horses in it that one there I can put 16 horses 
which is a whole lot different to um so we can put those 16 names in there from my great book of names so th this is something that i'm going to be up against with my great book of names is i'm going to need to be able to find other things that i can name in this game so that i can get you all in here it is my absolute determination to get you all named and in here you, you deserve it each and every one of you should be in here so we'll drop that one down in there like that so that's leveled a whole load more terrain out round and what do we got over here so we got a little bit of a slope up so only a little bit of a slope up over there, and it's a little bit high over this side. A lot of this is to do with the the way the cows were laid down. So a little bit of practice, I think, and laying these items out is going to be a thing. If you get it wrong and you need to sell it, this is going to be the other thing, right? Let's, let's, um, let's move back over here a minute, because if you get that wrong and you want to reset that, it doesn't reset the terrain. Right, it leaves the terrain where it is. Somebody said that they think that that's an indication. By leaving the terrain where it is, they think that's an indication that giants were really close to proper to proper deformable terrain um, being in the game. It's just that they, they weren't quite able to get it. So let's just sell that large pig enclosure because we, 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 we did that by mistake. We didn't want to do that. Okay. So then we want to go back and, nope, uh, we want to do this and we want to go back into the animal pens and we want to buy the pig enclosure again. Oh no, before we do that, we want to first have a look over here. So if you want to restore this back into a field, you would have to come over it, you'd have to plough it up. Because you've now got the different textures, different surfaces over this that have now turned it into this. But you've also got like different surfaces you've got different levels and things like that so you've also got that that you want to take into account so bring this over there I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna bring me over here sorry bring this it's me i'm not this i'm me and then we go there for the large pig enclosure right now i'm gonna move that one out that way a little bit over there so you can see that i'm sort of trying to lower it down into the ground a little bit it's it looks like it's it's behaving slightly different i can raise that one up now, you've got grid snapping there, uh, space is reset camera, we've got change placement heights, which we can do, I can do uh, grid snap, I'm, I'm pressing grid snap, it's not changing anything, uh, I'll tell you what, let me, that's, oh, I see, right, press that for grid snap, how's it doing? Press it again for grid snap. Trying to rotate. Rotate my camera. This is this this is not doing how I thought it was gonna do. Uh grid snapping. Move. It that's going exactly on a square. And I was kinda hoping that it wouldn't do that. I was kinda wanting it to but maybe I need to No, see I'm pressing and holding C and that's doing the same. So I'm not sure why that's um, moving the way it is. Yeah? I thought that it would sort of rotate slowly round in increments, but it doesn't seem to do that. It might, I haven't actually tried to do that with the other pen, so it might just be something to do with that. Uh, but this one here, I can raise it up, I can lower it down a little bit like this, and bring it in as close as I can to those cows. Cannot deform the terrain. I can bring it really close over there. Like that. And then I'll drop that one in like that. So now we'll see the difference that it's just made. That has now gone much more level with the cows over here. Where we had it previously, it's now stuck up. But you've got it. See, the ground is becoming a little bit more uneven. So I would recommend that before you start doing this, before you start like, trying to place down these big important objects for your farm, that you save the game. Because there doesn't appear to be a reversible action on this. You know, once once you've got it in there, it's in there, and that's how it's going to be. And you don't have the option really to change it round afterwards, which is a little bit of a shame. But that's how it is at the moment. So we can work with that. Just a simple save, and then um, you've got the auto save feature anyway, which you can use if you want to. So that's that's actually pretty cool. 
So we've got our pigs in here. We can go and buy. Let's, let's buy a few pigs while we're still here. Uh, where was the, uh, the animal entrance? Would be over here somewhere. Right. Well, I don't want to go that way. I want to go over here. Around this side. It's going to be right here. And there we go. Open animal dialogue. So we've got pink pig right here. It's um, perky. So we can go five for you. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Is that five? I've probably bought too many of everything. Okay, space confirmed. That's fine. Um, and then there is our pigs. Look at them. They're looking great. They're looking wonderful. And we can then go over to here. So we've got all of the animals up through here. The, the only thing I'm wondering is, can you collapse the information? I don't think you can. I don't think you can collapse the information. If you've only got, like, one type of pig, like, one color pig... You know, if you go there, you've got these black and white pigs. You've got pink ones. You've got white pigs like that. Uh, you've got black ones. So you might have a, a herd of um, all blacks. And, you know, that's fine. You uh, Not all black, large blacks. You've got, you've got a herd of large... Come on, Frith, you used to keep large blacks, we're going to say. You know, they're not all blacks. That's a rugby team. That's a New Zealand rugby team. We're talking about pigs. Those are large blacks. Big difference. Um, so you've got the large pig enclosure over here. We've got the various different things. Again, tag place. You don't have any options to name the animals or anything like that. Um, but you do have all of the pigs in here. And we, we can set them all up. So this is what the pig pens look like. What else have we got? Uh, sheep. Sheep is the only one that's left. So we go for the large sheep pasture as well. And again, it doesn't look... Oh, wait a minute. Right. I can move that round. If I press C... That then snaps to a grid. Okay, I'm not really sure why it's doing stuff like that. That cannot be placed here. Sort of... Oh, it, it's it's trying to snap to a grid over here. Now, this one is rotating freely, but the, the last one didn't. What did I do that changed that, that stopped it from... Maybe I did... I, it was a control C. Was that doing it? No. Somehow I overrode the control, and I've no idea how I did it. And it, it's, yeah, uh, not a clue how that happened. Anyway, let's uh, let's bring you over this way. I want to try and drop you between the two if I can, so that we can see if we can deform that terrain back a little bit. Swing you around that way a bit. Uh, it cannot be deformed there. And lower you down. So really, I want to raise you up a little bit, I guess. Pull you out there. You in as far as I can. Oop, that was a bit too far. So I want to... Actually, I want to lower it down a little bit. I would say we'll try that and then we'll see what it's like in on the corner. So we've got our sheep in there. So we've got... There's our sheep pen over there. And now, if you have a look... See, we've got a little bit of a dip down here, but we had this, like, really messy bit up here on this corner... That's now all been carefully smoothed out. So I did say this before, and I'm absolutely certain of this. We're going to get mods that will allow you to level out different areas of terrain. Uh, not just in squares, but also in circles. So you'll be able to buy it for free and place it down. Or it'll do something. someone will do something clever with um, this deformable um, option. And sort of allow us to smooth things out a little bit more. Someone will come up with something very cool with that. You can, I, I tell you that right now. That is, I don't know how long it's going to be, but someone will figure out some clever stuff. Because the modders in this community, you, you always come up with clever stuff. Right? You, you're all really good at this. You just bring in some of these. We'll bring in all the different animals that we got here. As we bring all of those in and we buy them in like that. Uh, so we've got our sheep race and pens and everything here. There are various different sheep in here. We've got the browns, the blacks, the white and blacks, pure whites and pure blacks. Uh, yep. Everything in there. That's really all i got time for today. I'm rushing up now because I have run out of time a bit. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. We've had a good look at some placeables today. I did intend to do more machines. This was a garage look, but this is still in the garage, so it's, it counts. This is a garage look. And we've gone and we've played around with the terrain and we've, we've messed around with things. And we also tried a horse against the train. Which was a very important thing that we all needed to find out about. Um, and not all of you would have wanted to do it. Because, you know, quite frankly, it could have ended in disaster. Uh, but 
I did that for you so that you no longer need to. You no longer need to worry about that. But here we are. It's Frithgar with his shades on. On Black Beauty. Okay. Even if I do say so myself, I look pretty darn cool. Right there, I look pretty darn cool. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.